Hey guys, so I am starting up a new series today. It's going to be my Roast Glory series with Rico Harris. He's going to be a power running halfback, standing at 5 feet 10 and weighing 243 pounds. He's, he's a big guy and basically he's from Boca Raton, Florida. And this is going to be a series I'm starting to kind of go along with my dynasty. And it's going to be live commentary, so it is my first live commentary, so please bear with me. But anyways, I'm going to be doing it with my dynasty because I can make these videos more fre frequently and I can keep you guys entertained while I am still editing my Illinois Dynasty series. I have to pick my three co top college choices and of course that's going to be Florida, Miami, and Florida State. The reason is because Rico Harris is from Boca Raton, Florida so I figured why not pick the top three teams from Florida. One thing I want to change is I want to make it a seven game schedule instead of a, instead of a uh, nine game schedule. This way we can get to college faster and start actually having some important games. And I think we're pretty much ready to get into our first game now. Like I said, this is going to be just a laid back, fun series. So I'm just going to take it easy and see how this goes. If you guys like it, I'll keep posting. Here we go. The beginning of Rico Harris's senior season for Boca Raton High. We're going to be fueling kickoff returns and punt returns, I'm assuming. And he's going to take it around the outside and he's going to break a tackle and that's going to be... A 23 yard return. Right off the bat we're going to be getting our first rushing attempt. Rico takes it up the middle and he's going to be taken down after only about a 2 yard gain. So we couldn't get much there. Okay we've got a screen pass now on 3rd and 10. Call for the ball to Rico. Catch that! Okay. 6 yard gain but that's not going to be enough. So I guess we're punting the ball away. Hopefully we do better on our next possession. A jet counter. So I'm not sure what this means. I don't know if, if it's if I'm gonna be have an option to hand the ball off or what. Let's just. Oh, I get to keep the ball. And Rico Harris is through! But he's tackled by the shoestring by the defensive tackle, so that's gonna be a nine yard gain. Pretty good, pretty good. I like that play. I hope we can do a little more of that in the future. We're gonna be going on the play action this time and blocking. Okay, that's a nice completion. 12 yards. Oh yes, another jet counter. I actually know what to do this time, so hopefully this will be even better than how it went last time. And I'm gonna keep it. Oh, uh, I guess I, I guess I handed it off there. Going out for the pass. I'm open, I'm open! Oof. Okay, here we go. Going for the punt return. Let's show off the inner Devin Hester here. Rico Primetime Harris getting ready to field the ball. Gets behind one block. Another block! Come on. We need some blocks there if we want to do something big. We need the blocks. But hey, when you have a star on your team like Rico Harris, the only way to win is to give him the ball. Even when they're stacking the box. Stiff arm, and that's a first down. If we want to get to some big schools here, especially with the seven game schedule, we're going to start need, need to start making some big plays. Let's go! Stack in the box again, and I think that this could be good if we can get around this last defensive end, which we cannot. So that's just going to be a one yard rush. And that takes us to the end of the first quarter. Jeez, they're stacking the box, and we're just trying to run up the middle. Someone needs to tell my coach that this is not the way to score points. Come on, we need to stop with these running up the middle plays. Oh, oh, look, look at those feet. This guy's 243 pounds and he can move like that. 13 rushes and 3 passes. I had to cut around to the inside there. If I had kept going around the outside, we would have gotten nailed for a loss right there, I'm telling you. Jeez, this is a low scoring game. I remember last year in all the Road Glory games, it would be like easy to score like 50 points with your team. Come on, up the middle. Get the first down. Get the first down. Oh! He trucks. He's still going. A 12 yard rush. The scouts definitely are going to like that one. And look at that, our opponents have 19 yards.
Okay, five yards, five yards. I'm not sure how this is gonna work. I wish we could flip the play or something, but actually, this I've got some running. We're gonna hurdle him. Oh, didn't time that hurdle too well. A little bit early on that one. We're in the red zone, though. So we're in the red zone. Oh. Yeah. Don't know what I was saying there. Okay, baby, come on. Rico Harris's first touchdown. Let's do it right now. Juke him out. Come on. All right, you better give me the ball this time. You better give me the ball this time. Come on. We need this one. It's for the scouts watching us out there. He's going to go around the outside. He's going to dive in. We will get a touchdown. We go up 7 nothing, and that is Rico Harris's first touchdown of the year. The first of many to come, though. Jeez, you're a star player and you got him out here blocking field goals. It's crazy. 56 seconds left in the quarter. Give it to Rico. Give it to Rico. Oh. Yeah, I definitely need to work on my receiving skills. I didn't think he was going to throw it to me, so I started turning up the field. And right when I turned up the field, he threw it to me. Oh, yes. First down, Rico Harris. That's how we do it, baby. Ooh, I like this. I like this. Nope, don't throw it. Don't throw it. Jeez, I need to stop calling for the ball in every single play. You know, it's not about me. It's about the team, guys. It's about the team! Jeez, I feel like I'm so close to the line of scrimmage, though. Come on. Do something big, Rico. Do something big. Let's go. If they're ever going to kick the ball, maybe. Come on. Okay. What? Come on. Get, get back there. I want that. Start of the second half, and now we're going to be back to the run game. 7-0 for Boca Raton. Okay. Get behind the blocks. Around the outside. We don't have that big play that big play speed yet, you know? It's gonna come, but we don't have it yet. Look at those stats. 20 rushes for 90 yards, and we're still just starting at the third quarter. Nice. Nice. 15 yard reception. Okay, okay. All right, come on, fullback. Let's let's get a big block there. Yes. Oh, we go around the outside. That's a nice. That was a nice eight-yard rush. Second and two, we're gonna be just pounding it up the middle. What Rico Harris does best, but sometimes he unexpectedly goes around the outside and picks up 11 yards. So we're over 100 yards for the day, averaging five yards a carry. Follow the blocks, okay. Alright, I'm calling it right now. Touchdown, let's go. Follow the blocks, okay. Uh, yeah. Or a zero yard rush, maybe. Jeez, I keep forgetting. I need to try some of this reaction time. It's, that's how the big plays are, are made, okay? Ooh! Look at that spin move. We might have lost a couple yards on that spin move, but it was a nice move. It was definitely a nice move. Okay, we're going to catch that one. Are we going to find somewhere to go? Around the outside. Around the outside. But anyways, Rico's going to get the ball here on first and ten. Right when the quarterback snaps, so we're going to get the ball. Now we have the ball, yep. Ooh, he's going to break that tackle. Second and six. Let's see what we can do. Get cut back in the middle. Okay, that's a first down. That's a first down. First and ten. Going to the outside to the right here. Ooh, follow that block. This could be big. This could be big. Stiff arm him. Ah. Anyways, what school do you guys want me to go to with Rico Harris? Either from the three schools I've chosen already, or you guys can leave suggestions. And if I do get a scholarship offer from one of the schools that you suggest, I will definitely think about going to that school. Honestly... I would like to go to a Big Ten school, a Big 12 school, or an SEC school. 
because I feel like that's where there's going to be the most competition. And that's where, of course, Rico is going to get the national spotlight. Rico keeps it on the jet sweep. And he's taken down for no gain. And, oh, off the back. If we want the scouts to notice us, we can't be dropping balls off our back. Seven yard return by Rico Harris. And I don't know why we have a 243 pound man fielding punt returns back there. But hey, it is what it is. On first and ten, Rico's going to take it around the outside. A big rush! And that's an eight yard gain. That's going to make it second and two. 151 yards on the day for Rico Harris. In the goal line formation now, and I don't know why the coach would possibly call that, but hey, it works pretty well. That's going to be an 11-yard rush. Okay, I don't know if, if our coach knows that we're not in the red zone here, because he keeps calling these goal line formations. And that's not going to work too well as Rico Harris is taken down for a 3-yard loss. Another toss. I guess he saw it didn't work last time, so he wanted to do it again. And again, it doesn't work too well. A one-yard gain. Just haven't, haven't had any of those big plays today. I think our longest run is like 12 yards. And that's a big catch, though. That's going to be a big play. Ooh, look at that move. 19-yard reception. I'm pretty sure that's Regal Harris's biggest play of the game. And that was a nice move. Let's, let's take another look at that juke. Got to feel bad for the defender, though. I think he's he's still recovering from that one. The poor fool doesn't know where he is. It's really a tragedy. Okay, now we're calling a play. A pass play. Jeez. Come on, come on. What, what are you doing, Rico? Come on, man. And now on 37, we're going to be running the ball. With two minutes left in the fourth quarter, we have a two-possession lead. And I think we're just pretty much going to be running the clock out. So here's going to be the final rushing play of the game. And Rico Harris is going to bust it around the outside. A big gain on that one. A 21-yard 20 yard rush. And that's going to put us to 193 yards. And we're not going to get to 200 as we're just going to be taking a kneel here to run the clock out. That's going to be it for our first high school game. Let me know what you guys thought about this video, the style of commentary I did. It's my first live commentary, so any tips are appreciated. Any feedback, I would love to hear it. But yeah, let me know uh, what, what you guys want to see, if you guys want to see more episodes or what. Thanks for watching, and that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed.